Let me give him your attitude, girl. Talk about. Mm. I can answer how I want. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I know what to do next time. Don't give me no half half answer for them. Mm. Girl, who you I will know to? what to do with you. Oh, Lord. Again. Who do you think you're talking to? Oh, you better come correct when you're talking to me, girl. Oh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to cut this right now. Hey, 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 hey. How you doing? Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. Body twins. Body twins. Body, 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 body twins. What's up, Body Army? Welcome to another book. Bye. Happy Saturday, guys. Hope you guys are having an amazing weekend so far. I can't believe it's a weekend already, girl. It's Saturday, honey. This week is done, done, done. And this month is done, too, girl. Yes. Listen, so today, guys, we have some fried red snapper, okay? Ooh, and girl. um, with some onions on top and some bell peppers or sweet peppers or whatever you want to call it, girl. And then we have this little salad concoction around the background here okay Ooh. so um i'm only gonna show you craig's fish because my fish is a little um um I, it kind of turned into a fillet <laughs> your fish like you went through a massacre girl just be grateful i gave you the better fish i thought that you know what let me give craig the better fish today because normally i would take the better fish if i am the cook the cook stress. but anyways um Yes, my fish is over here looking like a fillet. Be grateful. Say Wait thank a minute. you. Wait I can still minute. change it. The only reason why, let me just be clear. The only reason that why. That is not bigger. <laughs> no. The oh, only. Oh. I just said. What, what can, she was going to say. Can I speak? All right, say what you're going to say. Let's say a grace. <laughs> No, say what she was going to say. Let's say our grace. See when you try to be nice to people. <laughs> Let's see when say you try to be grace. nice to people. Noted. <laughs> God is good. God is great. Let us thank him for our fish. Amen. Amen. You're not grateful that I gave you the better fish? I'm just saying the reason why you gave me the better fish, because you know, I was going to read you if you gave me that fish. Yeah, but I wouldn't have cared. You could have said whatever you want. But you know I would have did the same thing. I would have given you the better no, fish. No, you wouldn't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Girl, what you anyways, not gonna do is paint a picture like I'm a bad person. Or having, I am not a bad brother. I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend uh -uh. so far. Okay. Make sure you like make you. sure you grab a snack and come right on back. You already know. You already know. You over here acting like you is the um the better twin. Like let um, me put some salt. Girl. And you still ain't say thank you or beat or or show any sign of appreciativeness. I would like to see it. Please. I would like to see it. What do you want? The clothes off my back? <laughs> no. What do you want from me? Girl. Anyways, noted. <laughs> girl, where's your phone? Put it in your notes area in your Hurry phone. Hurry up with this thing in my face, girl. Put the notes in your phone, girl. Or write it down. You need a sticky pad to write it down. Honey. So anyways, mm -mm. I think I'm going to start with some salad. Oh yes. I haven't had salad in, when is the last time we had salad, girl? Salad is good for y'all. Ready? Okay. How are you, you doing? doing? Well, look how she ate that. Mmm. She's crunchy. Mmm. Yeah, one of these peppers. Mmm. Oh, I gotta be very careful with this fish, girl. Mmm. I'm scared already. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. How's y'all Saturday going? What y'all doing? What do you, what, what's your guys normal routine for Saturdays? What do y'all do every Saturday? For some people I know Saturday is like a cleaning day. 
Mm. These green peppers are there. Mm. I mean bell peppers. Okay. So the PBO for the day mm -hmm. is cut the fish. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days and some sleepless nights. But when I look around and I think things over, all of my good days outweigh outweigh my bad days. I won't complain. <laughs> message right guys we need to be more grateful you might be in a situation where you want better for yourself or you feel like you should be in a better position but be grateful because you could be worse and you have people out there who are in worse situations yes ma'am let me see what this fish came in. that ain't the truth honey mm. oh i'm getting fish everywhere Mm. So guys, I messed up my fish because I fried it initially. I fried it in the wrong pot. Oh, so your that fish you have is the one you fried first. Mm. Oh. Let me give him your attitude, girl. Talk about. Mm. I can answer how I want. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I know what to do next time. Don't give me no half half answer for them. Girl, who you I will know to? what to do with you. Oh, Lord. Again. Who do you think you're talking to? Oh, you better come correct when you're talking to me, girl. Oh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to cut this right now. Anyways, I know what to do next time. Know how you're talking to me, girl. Mm. Could I be a scam brag? Girl. Anywho. Girl. Don't do it today, Saturday, yeah, girl. What are you guys eating? Hold oh, on. You still talking? <laughs> what are you guys eating? Mm. Guys, this fish will go so perfect with some festival because, uh. but you know, we can't be having no flour, no starch. Mmm. This will go perfect with some festival. Girl, I don't remember how festivals taste. I haven't had festivals so long. Mmm. Mmm, some festivals would be so good, girl. Mmm. Oh, guys. You know what I want to try? I want to try the um, birria, birria tacos, girl. With the sauce? I want to try. Is it called birria, birria, or... Birria, birria? Girl, I don't know. How you pronounce it? Well, y'all know what I'm talking about. Everybody and their mama eating it on YouTube now. Mmm, these bones. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. So, y'all, I went to the fish market to get this, um, these fish fresh. Ooh. I hate buying fish and stuff from the supermarket because they're not fresh. They be frozen. Mmm. I like when you get the fresh from the fish market. Mm-hmm, this fish is good. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So y'all, I started watching a new show yesterday. I've been watching it the whole day yesterday, girl. Mm. Somebody, I, I had seen somebody ask me if, I, if I've seen Love Island. Now, initially, I started watching the UK version, I think. And I didn't like it because I don't know. Their I don't accents? Know, I don't know. I just didn't like it. I didn't like the first episode, so I stopped watching it. But now I'm watching the US one. Season, um, season two, I'm watching the US one. And I really like it. What's it about? It's about it's like a dating show. They put them on an island. It's not well. It's not really an island, but well, the one that I'm watching now is taking place in Vegas, and it's not really an island, but they make it look like an island. It's on a, a beach. It's a hotel top. No, oh, it's on the top of a hotel. But the way that they do it, they try to make it look like an island. Oh, but basically they put them in the house, and they're trying to find love. 
Oh. But every time when like a couple gets close to somebody else, they throw somebody else in the house, and the the, the one person out of the couple get distracted. So is it is it realistic or is it staged? No, it's realistic. Oh. And at the end, the best couple is gonna win a hundred thousand dollars. But what makes it fun though? Like, what's exciting about it? First of all, the eye candy girl. The eye candy. Both the men and the women look really good. I would like to see it. Okay. But the funny thing is though, the girls that the guys be going up for, they don't really look that good. The only person that I see that really look good that the guys be going up for is Sally. Sally. There's this one girl that came in the name, um, is it Lauren or Lara? And she had a nice body, but her face wasn't all that. And then she had duck lips because you can clearly I'm done. That she um she plumped up her lips. Sally, what is Sally selling girl? What's she over there selling? Sally, she's um mixed. I think she's Spanish. She's black and Spanish or something like that. Ooh, girl. But she's really pretty. She's really short. Yeah, she's pretty. She's short? Mm-hmm. She's really, really short. Black or blonde hair? Black hair. Oh. But yeah, I really like the show. The show mm -hmm. is really good. Mackenzie is very annoying. That's a guy? No, a girl. Mm. Justine was very annoying at first too. Ooh. You know what show I'm watching which I don't think you're watching? I'm on like the fourth episode or is it the fifth episode? What? Um Chasing Atlanta? No. RuPaul's Jag Race um Vegas review. It is really cute. Review? Mm-hmm. So it's it's RuPaul's Drag Race Live. So if you watch the RuPaul's Drag Race um shows. They they have a residency in um oh. at, a, at the Flamingo in Vegas. Really? Wow. Mm-hmm. So it's um and Miss Vanji, of course, which is my favorite. It's Asia Herrera. Oh yeah, I did see the it's, ad um, for that. Cameron Michaels. It's Barry Barry, um, what's his name? The one that I was I like British Spirit. He gets on my nerves. Um Oh yeah, the British Spirit one. What's the young cute one? What's her name? The young she's from New York? I think so. The young, really tall, skinny yeah, one. Yeah, I know which one you're talking. Her and the one that won last time, the very crazy one that bent up, bent up in S. Oh, oh my god, I cannot stand this laugh. Oh my god. And it's like every time he laughs, I guess I never knew they made it into like a reality show though. Mm hmm they show the backstage and then them off the stage like they, they don't really show them on the stage mm -hmm. they show you a, li a just little bit because they want everybody to go and watch the show but this was um this was filmed pre um covid oh uh, covid happened on the show and they had to shut the show down anyway so last night episode um miss vanji um mother came to see him in vegas girl so they was on lunch then the other guys came and met up with them and they was talking or whatever uh -huh. lo and behold um, Vanjie's um mother tried to be matchmaker with um Cameron and and Vanjie, Cameron Michaels and Miss Vanjie girl. So after the mom left, my camera started thinking about it. Like, I mean, um, Vanjie is a nice person, and we in the same field of work or whatever. So I don't see why, whatever, whatever, we could give it a chance. Mm -hmm. Anyways, lo and behold, they hung out at the um, they was hanging out at a bar. Mm -hmm. Or whatever, everybody, and they started playing truth or dare. And of course, Barry, or whatever his name is, the Britney Spears wannabe, had to initiate stuff. He's like, he's just, um, he's just like a girl. I don't know what, what a girl. Anyway, so he initiated, initiate, he, he told, um, he dared, um, Cameron to kiss thingy. So they kissed, girl. It was real cute. And then they went off to, to the, uh, 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 a private bar by themselves. And the two of them? Yeah, and Cameron basically told her um, that ever since her mom, his mom said that um put the like basically put the bug in his ear said, saying that um they would be cute together. He was thinking about it. And Vanjie was a little bit shocked. Because Vanjie was like, because they've been friends and they've been touring or whatever, and they 
It's, it's kind of like he didn't see him, he didn't expect him to see him in that light, right? <laughs> or whatever. So Cameron asked if um they could kiss again, but not around the, the guys. Ooh, and they kissed the gang girl. Ooh. <clears throat> Really cute. I think they'll be cute together. I don't think they're together now though because I look on both of them, both of them um their pages, Instagram, and Sorry, I don't think they're together. But this fish is shredded. Mm. But I think it would have been really cute if they was like together together for real. And they both cute. Miss Vanjie is cute. But when as we, a boy, Vanjie was dating another girl, another one. They was cute as um a uh, vanilla. Um, yeah, when they were on the um the show together. Oh, Brooklyn. Yeah, they broke up. It didn't work out for them. But yeah. Mmm. Mmm. But a lot of these drag queens look good out of drag. Most of them. It's funny because some of the real handsome ones look way better out of drag. When they put drag on, they just look. I don't know. Make them look older. Mm. Mm mm. Oh, I gotta watch out for these bones. Mm. mm. But what are some um good shows that y'all are watching? Yeah, I need to. When I tell you YouTube is so boring, like in terms of finding something to watch, YouTube is so boring. Like, like I need. I've been trying to watch like. Like other than regular people that we watch, that we watch, like everything else just be boring. Actually, trying to find something to watch. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't find nothing to watch at all. Oh, I got some tea for y'all. Let me wipe my mouth because I gotta go into my phone. Cause girl, honey, mm -hmm. let me grab my phone for this tea, honey. Where's she at? It's so annoying when you want to be spilling some tea from the um the shade room and then girl you go on the thing and then when you open your phone it's not on the thing. Where is she a uh, girl? By the way, are you guys liking the new um the new iOS um 14 on the, the iPhone? The update is cute, girl. It's cute. Where is the thing I'm trying to talk about? Yeah, give me a quick second. Oh wow. Oh, so so I, uh, so apparently Jamie Foxx is bisexual. Wow. According to what's her name? According to Lisa Ray. Hmm. Apparently they used to date back in the day, girl. Listen, when I tell you that show, that Claudia Jordan show on Fox Soul is so messy, the girls on there is so messy. Listen, if and I feel have like they, they sometimes it come off like they tried hard because they want to like go viral every time. But certain stuff y'all don't have to talk about, especially if it's personal. Y'all don't have to talk about it and try to bring people down. But I guess that's how y'all gonna get the views and stuff. But listen, how it started was Claudia Jordan asked if anybody dated somebody in the past but they feel like they was kind of sugarfoot, you know? Oh. Like they was kind of gay or whatever. And Lisa Ray said, yeah, it's, there's been a few. And then she went on to say, um, and she wasn't the only one who speculated. Like everybody in the media was like, and she said when she was with this particular person, everybody was looking at her sideways like, Okay. When she was with so that person. So she didn't actually call the person name. She didn't say Jamie Foxx. They just assumed it was Jamie Foxx. Claudia Jordan said, ask her if, if it was around the, the Players Club era. And she said no. But she did verify that Vivica A. Fox actually knew who it was. But everybody's speculating that it's um, Jamie Foxx. And... What's his name had it to say that Jamie Foxx was bisexual in the back in the day? Um, Howard Stern. 
Y'all know how Western they have that radio show. Mm -hmm. My whole thing is, what the hell does it matter if if, if he's bisexual or if he <laughs> like men, girl? It ain't. <laughs> It's Honestly, nobody's it's business. nobody's business, girl. Mm. It's nobody's business. And this man like men, if he laid out with men too, girl, that's his business. Whether he he decides to take it to the public or whatever, that's his business. Because half of y'all out there that's judging this man, the man that you're currently with now, girl, is laying down with another man too, girl. Ooh. And I whoop. If he's not laying out with another man now, he has in the past, or he has messed around, and that's nobody's business. Period. You know, what I'm saying is, a lot of men out here and women have their preferences. That don't mean what you do behind closed doors is your business. You don't have to declare it to the whole world. Mm-hmm. That's just what it is. What it, is. it is what it is. Okay. So, y'all. I got all these bones. Tell me why Auntie Wendy out here being a peeping time girl. I'm done. <laughs> Listen, let me play this audio tape because Wendy was recently on a podcast and she revealed something. Girl, her new hobby. <laughs> Listen closely. Fellow New Yorkers. Listen. Uh, and what have you seen uh, of your fellow New Yorkers in doing this? Well, there is a, uh, an apartment building cross and the man takes showers and the, the uh, shower is right there at the window and I watch now hold on now okay, so how uh, what are you um, what are you seeing I'm assuming the window isn't uh, you know a head to toe no it's a it's a head to ankle <laughs> that's, that's still most of the good parts <laughs> Now, Wendy, when I heard you were looking at people with the binocular, I thought it was about passers-by, but I feel like what you're doing now is, like, borderline criminal. <laughs> I peep and I talk. All right. Well, you know what? Uh, and what have you seen uh, of your fellow New York? Wendy, uh, Auntie Wendy, why are you out here looking at people's naked parts? And <laughs> right, the fact that you're using a whole binocular to see this girl, this is so creepy. Yup, 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 yup. yup. This is creepy. That's creepy. Like, you don't do that. And it's the way she's saying it like it's normal. It's funny because if it was a man that was doing that to, to her, it would have been a whole different situation. But Auntie Wendy, you can't be out here, girl. Girl, we know you um single and you, 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 you um, you're she, I think she dating somebody. Girl, I don't know. But that's, that's weird. That's weird. That's and weird to be using a binoculars. And, but my whole thing is that's wrong. I don't care how high your apartment is. Why would you have a whole window to yeah? Why your whole body like that? Don't unless you want people to look. But girl, using a binoculars to see though, that's a, that's just goes to show how far the person is, or that goes to show how detailed you want to see like what's going on. You're using a whole binoculars, Wendy girl. What's going on over there? She got too much time on her hands. You got too much time, girl. Thank God your show starts back on Monday. Because, girl, you doing a lot. <laughs> and, yeah. Why? And the fact that you admitted to that, though. Why? But why Why they got their whole... That is creepy. Parts out in the window, too. And I'm sorry. I don't care what floor I'm on. And normally, windows right there in the bathroom by the shower is like... You probably small. see the person's head. Or their upper body. Why is the window so big? That person mm -hmm. probably freaky to one night and like doing stuff like that. That person probably wanted to give a show. But still. If I did that, I would not admit that girl. Not, not Yeah, why would you why not if I was that? not if I'm Wendy Williams, girl? Mm mm. What y'all think about that? Comment down below. Auntie Wendy's over here getting her kicks. <laughs> but ooh, that fish was good, bro. Mm. Girl, I'm being careful because these bones. She was seasoned. Mm. Mm hmm. So I was watching a video also this morning of Kadir. Kadir, you know Kadir, right? Kadir, yeah. Yeah. So I think everybody. Well, if you don't know who Kadir is, he's a YouTuber. And um What's his last name? Howard or something? 
I don't remember what his, his, his last name is, but he's a popular YouTuber, I would say. And um, he's funny. He sings too, right? Yeah, here and there. So, basically, he's going through a hard time. Because, um, basically, he had an ex. And they had a very, like, toxic relationship. And they broke up. And um, a little bit after that, his mom pa passed away. Oh, wow. Then, I think in the same amount of time, too, he had a record label or something. And he lost, it. He lost his contract or whatever, whatever. Um, so, he was going through a hard time. And he was explaining to me that he don't really have no friends and whatever. Because he's saying at the time when his mother died... He had already broke up with his boyfriend, but his, his, his ex-boyfriend was the only person he could call at the time. Because he had no family members to call. Um, he tried to reach out to his dad. His dad ignored him. He tried to, to talk to his sister. Um, his sister... Alright, so basically, he is pleading to everybody. Alright, so basically, what I got in the video is, he's in a stage where he's just tired of everything. And he doesn't want to be here anymore. What? Yeah, and he tried to reach out to his sister and she basically told him um he can handle it and he is going to be okay. And my message is this. When you have people who are showing signs that they will hurt themselves and that they are reaching out for some kind of help, that means they want you to be there physically for them. And I haven't seen the people video. always do people always say ooh after the person passed away ooh if I had known the signs or if I would just have um, called them or went and to see them before this happened people give you clues sometimes people be giving clues sometimes people be shouting out people be um, letting you know and you choose to ignore it or you choose to say oh they're gonna be alright they're very strong they're gonna be alright they're gonna make it no, when somebody tells you that they need help, if you, especially if you're a family member, you need to help that person. Mm. So, his sister needs to actually go wherever he is and be there for him. Okay? He um, was explaining that he's, um, he's struggling with a lot of stuff now. Um, he has been on YouTube for, I think, like over 10 years, and he feels like he hasn't accomplished what he should have accomplished. So... So that, he, I feel like he's kind of depressed too because of that. And I know how that feels. So losing a lot, like losing your mother, the only person that you thought was, um, that was actually there for you while she was alive. And having nobody else and then losing your boyfriend and all of that. You just feel like your world is crumbling down. So I exactly know how he feels. Mm -hmm. And he just needs his family member to be there for him. And nobody's there for him. So he made a video. And I don't know. That sounds like. So does it really sound like he's like suicidal? It sounds that way, yeah. It sounds that way, cause he's basically and he said it a few times too. When I'm dead and gone, that's when y'all gonna give me my props. And yeah, he said it a few times in the video. Oh wow! So guys, um, if y'all don't know who Kader is. Um, search him on YouTube and watch his last video and give him some support. Okay, sometimes see, some people just need to see and feel the support. That's crazy. And he said he gonna he gonna take a, a few years off of YouTube. That's what he said. So if y'all don't know, um, let me see if I can find the name of um. And spell his name because I don't remember exactly how you spell his name. We've been watching him for years. So okay, so his YouTube channel is Q Q A A D I R Howard. So it's Kadir Howard. So yeah, and it's it's his last his latest video. So go and watch it, guys, and leave him an inspirational comment, okay? Because yeah. he seems like he's just done. He's over with it. And, and a lot of people go through that. And they just want to hear something inspirational or some something to just lift the weight off their shoulders. Yeah. And if you can be that one person to do that somehow. But anyways, y'all, as you see, my sh my fish is in shambles, girl. This Craig fish? is still over here with her fish, girl. Because there's some meat there that, that can't be left on it. Mm-mm. 
Are you dumb? Over here is a mess. Mm. I haven't had snapper fish in so long. Okay, I need to wrap it up, girl. Wrap it up because it's a time to do some shout outs, girl. I need to wrap it up. Okay, I'm almost done. Mmm. 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 I know some people who suck the eyes from the hair girl, no ma'am. I can't do that. Mmm. Okay, so I'm done. Oh, that fish was good, girl. Okay, guys, so it's time. It's that time, baby. For some shout outs. Are you ready, Craig? Mm hmm. Get them vocals ready. Shouts out to Pam Bewley. Hello, Pam, not the Greer, honey. Listen, honey. You said Bewley? Yes. When I tell you Pam Bewley, you are a beauty, honey. You're a beautiful girl. Your face is a vase, girl. Yes, ma'am. Shouts out to Let's Eat. Ooh! Listen, girl. We just done that egg, girl, but I want to eat again, girl. Let's eat, girl. What are we finna eat? I want to eat some birria tacos, girl. And then I want to eat a Travis Scott meal, honey. No, and then I want to eat them Korean um corn dog. No, ma'am. Girl. Shouts out to... Mm. Shouts out to mm. Shanice Alcock. Chinese girl, when I say you got all the cocks, girl, honey, when I say you got all the cocks, girl, you got all them, girl, you got all these cocks, girl, what you finna do? Girl, you better open up a farm with all these cocks, girl. Mm. Shouts out to whatever we feel for. Oh, girl, listen, whatever you feel for, whatever you want, I don't tell you, girl, you can't let, look, you know, nobody can't tell you nothing good, girl. If I don't feel for that, you out. Shouts out to Brianna G. Oh, girl, Brianna G, girl, girl, you're a G, girl, and the G does stand for Gucci. No, ma'am. And last but not least, shouts out to. Mm. Let me see. Mmm. Mmm. Hibiscus Cumberbatch. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember that. It's name. Hibiscus. Hibiscus Cumberbatch. Hibiscus. Hibiscus is a flower. It is a Jamaican flower, too. Guys. Hibiscus, mm -hmm. Cumberbatch. Hibiscus used to be all over Jamaica. They Cumberbatch. Listen, that name is so unique, honey. Hibiscus, Cumberbatch, honey. You better come back, back, batch, girl. <laughs> what the hell I just said? Oh, I think I have two shout out in my phone, too. Let's go to it real quick, girl. Girl. Okay, so shout out to Sherry Lynch. She says, when am I going to get a shout out? I'm feeling some type of way, sad face. Sherry girl, shout hey, out Sherry. to you, honey. You always comment on our videos on the daily. So cool. shout out to you, Sherry Lynch, honey. We love you, girl. Girl, we see you. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Also, shout out to Dejian Senasi. Dejian Senasi. What? Dejian Senasi. Cincinnati? No, Senasi. Love you guys so much. Need a shout out. I'm all the way from Guyana. Ooh! Guyana, the name's, uh, oh, her name is Felicia Morrison. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, Felicia. Hi, Felicia, girl. Shout out to all my, uh, shout out to all our body armies that, uh, that lives in Guyana, okay? Yes, ma'am. Shout out to all of y'all guys. We, we love y'all and we see y'all, girl. Yes, ma'am. Listen, we love and appreciate you guys. Mmm. Girl, that every every mm. single day. Oh, I had a piece of fish in my crotch, girl. <laughs> Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. So yes, you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. Mm-hmm. And listen. Wait. Mm. 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 Mm -mm. And listen, guys, no matter what you're going through, love yourself, okay? Because if you don't love yourself, oh, the hell is you going to love somebody else, girl? Mm-hmm. Okay, girl. Amen. And be grateful. You're alive. You have health. You have strength. Yeah. Be fa be um <laughs> be grateful. And be faithful, too. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Anyways, guys. We're going to see guys, you guys in tomorrow's video. We love and appreciate each and every one of y'all.
Yes, ma'am. Y'all be getting a vlog tomorrow. Oh, and we're going live tonight on you now and and um YouTube. Yeah. So make sure y'all tune in if y'all want if y'all never ever catch a live. Girl, come on in tonight, honey. Yes, ma'am. And if you got this far to the video, drop a fish down below. Drop Craig down below. Um, cause he's a fish. Um, so yes, guys. She's a dolphin. Love you so so much. Make sure. Um, I said that already, right? Every day <laughs> is another chance to. Slay. And as we always say. Every, Every day, day is another chance to slay. So slay the ish. Slay Miss Mama's girl. See y'all in the next video. Love you Love guys. Love you guys. Mwah. Body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins, body twins, body twins, body 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 twins.